watching Monday's edition of News Mongolia. I'm your host, Satan Kortz. For our top stories, President Hurusov met with Russian Prime Minister Mikhail Mishutsin. COVID-19, 125 new cases, two fatalities reported on Monday. Protocols signed to amend agreement on Russian border checkpoints. For other news, stay tuned. The official visit of Mongolian President Hurusuk to the Russian Federation concluded on December 17. The president held several fruitful meetings with Russian government officials on developing relations. During a meeting with the chairman of the State Duma, Vyacheslav Volodin, the two sides discussed decisions made concerning cooperation between the two countries. Chairman Volodin emphasized that as strategic partners, Mongolia and Russia should find new forms of cooperation that will help not only to develop relations but also raise the living standards of the two countries' citizens. He proposed that a joint parliamentary commission be created and expressed his hope that the proposal would be supported to make real contributions to the development of relations at the interparliamentary level. The deputy chairman of the state, Duma Alexei Gordiev, would serve as a chair of the commission as he currently coordinates cooperation with the Parliament of Mongolia. President Hursuk acknowledged Russia's special attention paid to enhancing interparliamentary cooperation. He expressed his full support for the establishment of a new cooperation mechanism. The meeting participants also discussed enhanced economic cooperation between Russia and Mongolia. The chairman of the State Duma stressed that the development of greater humanitarian, educational and cultural cooperation could form a good basis for strengthening economic ties. President Hnagin Hursuk said that everyone in Mongolia understands the importance of learning the Russian language and noted that five of the six Mongolian delegation members graduated from Soviet and Russian universities. He invited State Duma Chairman Volodin to pay a visit to Mongolia. In turn, the president was invited to address the State Duma during his next visit to Russia. The president of Mongolia was welcomed to the government house of the Russian Federation last week for a meeting with Prime Minister Mikhail Mishustin. Prime Minister Mishustin noted that the two countries' governments will ensure the strict implementation of agreements reached by their heads of state and asked President Hurusuk to pass on his regards to his Mongolian counterpart, Prime Minister Ayurta. During a meeting with Mongolian President Hurusok, Russian Federation Council Speaker Valentina Matvienka noted that it is important for the parliaments of the two countries to intensify cooperation within regional and international cooperation mechanisms. The two sides agreed to take trade and investment cooperation to a new level and to jointly implement major energy and infrastructure projects. Speaker Matvienka said she would monitor measures taken to intensify trade and economic cooperation and listen to information provided by the Russian Working Group of the Intergovernmental Commission. President Horosov and Federation Council Speaker Matvienka expressed their support for proposals and initiatives for strengthening direct cooperation in culture, education, humanitarian work and regional and local projects. Yeah. On Monday, the Ministry of Health reported 125 new cases of COVID-19. The holiday season is continuing with numerous public events being held. State officials advise those who haven't received a booster shot to avoid public gatherings. As of Monday, December 20, the total number of COVID-19 cases in Mongolia is around 387,000. The number of reported deaths is about 1,900. In the last 24 hours, 125 new cases were confirmed through PCR testing across the country. In the past couple of weeks, case numbers have been showing a slight decline. Among the 125 cases, three cases were confirmed from plane passengers. The capital city saw 85 new cases confirmed. As of today, around 2,000 people have been hospitalized, with 49% of patients having moderate symptoms of illness. About 4,000 people are treating themselves at home. The rollout of COVID-19 booster shots continues nationwide. However, only 26% of the population has received a third shot. Although the number of new COVID-19 cases has shown a decline, health officials warn that case numbers are likely to surge again. They advise that only people with booster shots should attend New Year parties and events. The Omicron variant hasn't been detected in Mongolia yet, but officials say it's too early for the country to let its guard down. According to Johnson, 
Johns Hopkins University, the global number of cases of COVID-19 has reached over 274 million, and total deaths have reached 5 million. Currently, the U.S. has the highest number of cases with 50 million, followed by India with 34 million cases. Now let's take a look at the currency exchange rates provided by Mongol Bank. Thanks for watching News Mongolia. Now let's take a look at Mongolia's current affairs. A 2022-2024 program for cooperation between the Ministry of Education and Science of Mongolia and the Ministry of Science and Higher Education of the Russian Federation has been approved. The program will focus on developing educational and scientific relations and cooperation between Mongolia and Russia, increasing student exchanges and advancing direct relations between the country's scientific organizations. The cooperation agreement was signed by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Mongolia, Batsitsik, and the Ministry of Science and Higher Education of the Russian Federation, Valery Falko, during the official visit of President of Mongolia, Hursuk, to the Russian Federation. During Mongolian President Hursuk's official visit to Russia, Minister of Foreign Affairs Batsitsik and Deputy Minister of Transport of the Russian Federation Vladimir Tokarev signed a protocol on amendments to the August 10, 1994 agreement between the government of Mongolia and the government of the Russian Federation on border checkpoints and the relaxed regime at the Mongolian-Russian border. Under the protocol, the sides upgraded the status of the Borsha Handrat and Hanhmond checkpoints. The sides also agreed to close 13 checkpoints. The checkpoints selected for closure have temporary or seasonal operation, lack facilities for border inspection, are not connected to an electricity grid, or have been inactive in recent years. 16 checkpoints will remain open. The government of Mongolia has begun the expansion and upgrading of primary checkpoints. Development work is underway at the Altambotlik, Borsha and Suhuator checkpoints. The Hang, Tsaranor and Ulhang checkpoints have been included in plans for future border checkpoint development. Here comes the weather forecast for the world's major cities. This is it for today. Thank you for staying with us. We'll see you tomorrow with more news and updates. Have a nice evening. Goodbye.